All right, welcome back to another video. It is our second day of lockdown, and I thought there was gonna be absolutely no post or anything. Went out for a ride this morning on the Cannondale. I think I did 40, 42 or 43 K, so yeah, no, legs are feeling good. I'm slowly actually feeling like I can ride a bike and it just doesn't hurt excruciatingly. But you know, the bike's looking pretty sick. It looks really, really good without the, um, the tan walls of the C50s or the C75. Which leads me on to my next point, my new wheels have turned up. So Windspace have been nice enough to um, send these wheels basically for the channel to have a look at. I'm really excited about them. These are the Windspace 38 Hypers. So they're meant to be like ridiculously light. I've Obviously I've got the 50 millimeter Durace wheels. I've got the 75 millimeter Durace wheels. So I thought the next thing I want to add to my collection would be some 38 climbing wheels. Yeah, thanks to Windspace for sending me these to review and to chuck on one of my builds. Um, so we'll open them up now. Wow, okay, so these are the Windspace Hyper 38mm wheels. They just look amazing. They're real, like, discreet. They've got the Hyper logo just there, as you can see it, but the rest of the wheel is just straight carbon fiber. Like, there's nothing over top of it. I'm real keen. Apparently, on the website, these are, I think they're under 1300 grams, which would be the lightest set of wheels I've ever had on the channel. Alright, so the accessories, it comes with obviously some carbon brake pads. It also comes with these skewers, which are actually pretty nice. And then it just comes with a whole load of spare spokes, because the spokes are actually carbon. So I imagine those would be hard to get if you didn't um, get them off wind space. So obviously everyone wants to know how light these are. I'm not sure if the park tool goes down that low, but we'll give it a go. Alright, we're going to weigh the wheels with the um, park tool. I'm not sure if it goes down like as low as like into grams and stuff. I assume it will. The wheels are all tubeless ready, so it's got the valve in it and everything. Um, I'm not going to put the skewer in. I just want to see how light the rim is. But I won't take that out. All right, we'll turn that on and we'll tear it. Yep. 540 grams. That is ridiculous for a front wheel. All right, and we'll put the skewer in it just for a little bit of context to see how ridiculously light this rim is. We'll turn that on. That's on the zero. 590 grams with the skewer. All right, and now onto the back wheel. We'll do a little, we'll do a little hub check. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, so turn that on, gear it, onto zero. And back wheel with no skewer. We have 710 grams with no skewer. All right, and then with the skewer, we're on zero, with the skewer. We have 830 grams. Obviously it's about 100 grams heavier just with the addition of the hub. But that is like, that's ridiculously light. I think I had Zip 202s back in like 2018 and they were nowhere near as light as this and they were easily my most lightweight wheels. But yeah, thanks to Windspace for sending these out. They're absolutely sick. I can't wait to get some tires mounted on them. I'm just gonna decide if I wanna just run latex tubes in, an, in a normal tire or do I wanna go full blown tubeless on it? So now that these wheels have shown up, I thought I'd run this past the viewers. I know I said in my last video that I was pretty keen to do a chapter two build and get that one, do a lightweight paint job on it, get rid of all the paint, go right down to the carbon and do lightweight with my SRAM Red. But every day I walk past this bike in the store and I just think that would look absolutely sick with SRAM Red on it and maybe even the Windspace wheels. So let me know in the comments below if you think I should build this up. It's a Sintesi frame, I'm not sure, I've never heard of it, but it's absolutely sick. It's got the Jure seat post, as you can see, the ITM bar and stem, and then fitted with the Windspace 38 wheels, I think it would be lighter than every other bike on that um, wall, and it's not even carbon. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think that should be the go. All right, so at the shop we sell all these smart motion e-bikes. My mum wanted an e-bike to try and get back into a bit of fitness and do a bit of riding, but she didn't want one like this with a step through and she didn't want one with suspension because she didn't think she was gonna go off road or anything. So I built her up this. This is the smart motion pacer, which is more of like an urban commuter bike. It's got no suspension up the front. It's got the top tube. It's got the screen in the top tube. It's got this really, really nice place to put a basket or if you want to put anything on with a wooden top. It's a really, really cool looking bike. And in that orange, it just looks absolutely mint. I built the bike like three or four days ago and they send the bike separately with the batteries because the batteries are as you can see a dangerous good so the battery has just shown up so we're going to open that up put it in the bike and then go and see what it's made of Ooh! and 
there we have it, the Smart Motion Pacer battery. And we have full battery as well. All right, we'll go and install this. All right, I think we're in. All right, the moment of truth, we'll hold that down and we are live. It's got a pretty sick screen, it's got five different modes, so we'll take this outside and see how much it rips. An assist one, we're gonna bump it all the way up to assist five. Whoa, Jesus, we're going 23k now. Holy moly, this thing is fast. All right, we're gonna do a zero and then take off. Thing is so fast I've had it in just like level three but I had it in level five there you literally just start pedaling and you're going like 35 kilometers an hour and I'm pretty sure I haven't even put it up to like the max capacity this thing is like insanely fast <laughs> All right, back onto the wind space. I've decided I'm not going to go tubeless just yet. I'm just going to put normal tubes and tires on them and just kind of wear them in and work out how they go. So I would have picked the tire. Decided that the tan walls don't look so good with the Cannondale. So I'm just going to go with the regular graphene tires, just the, the gray and the black ones. And the rear fully built up, so I put an old Tegra cassette on that. That's an 11 to 32, bit of a bit of a climbing wheel needs a climbing cassette. I didn't go Durace because we don't have any, and they're stupidly expensive. I just don't see any purpose in ever using a Durace cassette. So yeah, we've got the graphene tires installed. I've got the cassette in, and we've got the skewer. So we're going to reweigh these now and see how much they'll actually weigh, as if you were going to go and ride them. All right, we're going to start with the front. So there. And that is 1.02 kgs. All right, and then we'll do the rear. So we will put that like that with cassette and skewer and tire. That is 1.41 kgs. So if my calculations are correct, the full wheel set with a tire, a pretty heavy tube, I could get lighter tubes going latex and an Ultegra cassette and skewers. 2.43 kgs for this wheel set. That is ridiculously light. So obviously I would love to go and put them on my bike now and weigh it, but I think it would be an absolute cardinal sin to put these brand new wheels onto this absolutely filthy Cannondale, as you can see. I rode through a herd of cows today on my ride and it just got absolutely covered in cow poo. So I need to give that a clean and the chain is pretty dirty and so is the cassette. So I think that might have to wait for the next video. I'm gonna put these on my bike in the next video. We'll give it a good old clean and then we're gonna take them out for their first test ride. So yeah, that is gonna be the end of today's video. Huge shout out to Zoe from Windspace for hooking me up with these wheels. She's been really good to work with. These wheels look absolutely amazing. Out of the box, I have absolutely no complaints with them. The packaging was really good. Everything looked really nice. Obviously, when you spend that much money on wheels, you want it to be a really cool experience. And these were, it was a really nice packaging. Everything came out of the box perfect. And they were really good. So I'll put the link to um, the Hyper Wind Space wheels. These ones exactly here down below if you want to get yourself some. But yeah, next video we're going to chuck these on the Cannondale head out and we're going to take them for a ride. All right, and that is going to be the end of today's video. So if you've been enjoying the videos recently, please hit that subscribe button down below. We're on our way to 16,000. If you haven't liked this video already, do that and I'll see you in the next one.